What's going on everybody? This is Soulful of Soulful Size Gaming and we are back playing some more of our Let's Play walkthrough for Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown. Definitely want to thank everybody who has been checking out the previous episodes of this Let's Play series. We definitely do appreciate all the love that we've been receiving on YouTube so we do thank you all again for that. Uh, if you haven't had the chance, check out the previous episodes. We have been going in hard with this Let's Play series, so I hope you guys have been enjoying it. And if you do enjoy this content, definitely go ahead and hit that like button. Leave a little comment in the comment section letting me know what you thought about the episode. And as well, if you want to see more of this particular content in the future, go ahead and hit the subscribe button along with the little bell. And definitely make sure you hit the bell because you want to make sure your subscriptions do work appropriately so you get the notifications. And also follow us over on Twitter at Soulful Saxon Gaming so you can stay up to breast when we do happen to release new episodes of this series. So in the last episode, uh, what we went ahead and did is we did episode 7. It was the first time we actually went up against one of the aces in the game, uh, which is Mihai and... <clears throat> I, if I remember correctly, it didn't turn out so well, and I do, I will honestly say I have, in my own personal time, been running around, uh, actually playing a few of the missions over, getting a little bit more accustomed to using the chase camera, uh, I even watched a video called Ace Combat <clears throat> 101, which basically teaches you like the different tactics of how to fly and be able to use the different functionalities in the game so that was really helpful so I want to thank Tomcat uh, I think it's 321 or I'd, I'd have to look it up my bad <clears throat> for doing that actual uh, Ace Combat tutorial video so I definitely want to thank him for that but hopefully we're gonna see in this next episode if what I have learned is gonna be able to be put into in practice so let's jump right into the story. Hope you guys enjoy and let's check it out. Let's go. I had a chance to talk to one of the pilots that escaped back here, so I took it. Apparently, two of our planes took the enemy on alone. They covered the allies so they could retreat. The hell kind of idiot does a thing like that? The last pilot to land back at the base was that scrawny anarchist dude. He always had this dumb grin on his face, like he didn't give a damn about whatever he did to get thrown in here with the rest of us. Was he the one who went gung-ho? I bought him a drink later. After the usual small talk, I turned the topic around to the mission. For an anarchist, he struck me as a bit weird. Nothing like what I expected. He talked a mile a minute and kept going on and on about library books. Not encyclopedias, those cheesy adventure novels you read in high school. Nothing against those. I like a good story myself once in a while. But I wasn't here to talk books. Uh, I remember that day well. Amidst the swirling clouds, the fighter squadron was trying to help its allies reach safety. He's pretty foolish, isn't he? I thought so, too. Suddenly, a highly skilled enemy fighter squadron appeared and began picking them off at the edges. One by one, they fell right out of the sky. Although, I guess there was nobody around that was even more foolish to go to their aid then. So, you simply watch things unfold from a distance. Yeah. I mean... Who would have ever thought that I'd just go and follow him straight into the enemy squadron like that? After what felt like decades, I finally got to the info I was looking for. He wasn't the guy. He said he was just following his wingman's lead and managed not to die somehow. The hero on this mission was the new guy. The one that killed Harling. <laughs> How did you feel? I'm still kind of shaken up, actually. But you know, I do feel a certain sense of pride, too. He really is foolish, isn't he? Yep, he sure is. I went to the hangar to have myself a closer look at Trigger's plane. I knew that burnt smell. That's what happens when an engine's been driven to its limit. 
This pilot was a hot dog. From now on, I was going to keep my eye on this idiot. From a distance, though. I didn't want to get too tight with someone who was a better pilot than my dad. Even so, I decided to give this guy's plane a little bit of the old Avril magic touch. He needed all the help he could get. Okay. Mission 8, Pipeline Destruction. Attention. If you disobeyed orders in the previous mission, line up over there. You won't disobey a second time. Do not test my patience. The biggest threat to our forces is the enemy's enormous swarm of drones. In order for our forces to penetrate deep into Arusian territory, we'll need to clear a path. You will destroy the enemy's fuel plant. HQ has found evidence that fuel is being moved intermittently inland from a refinery at the harbor in Artiglio. It's likely they're supplying fuel for the various drone bases. Those of you whose food privileges were taken away already know how this goes. We silence the drones by taking their fuel. Enter via the estuary, take out their AA, destroy the fuel points on both sides of the river and their oil tankers. Remember, you're not bona fide military. You're expendable. All right. So this is a annihilation mission, pretty much. And with this mission, we are basically going to go ahead and destroy as many of the tankers as we can. And there's a few air to air threats. Alright. So, like I said, I've been playing this a little bit in the off time. I actually have been upgrading some things. So, initially, we were trying to get to here so we can get the self forging fragment submunitions. But, uh, yeah. I've been watching quite a few other people play this game and this actual sub ammunition is really good from high altitude it's not very good from low altitude so I went ahead and I 86 that idea I pretty much have been just trying to unlock as many of the aircraft parts as I can so I can get those upgraded we've even pushed as far ahead to the point where now <clears throat> We should be able to get close to starting to unlock some of the next generation planes like the F-35 and the F-22. I can't wait to see what this YF-23 can do. I hear that is absolutely sick. So, And then the SU-57 is the, the Russians version of the plane, of our plane. So, yeah. So we've been basically unlocking as many parts as we can. So we can get more progressively into the story. Actually, let me zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out. Yeah, zoom out. Yeah, so we're, 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 we're moving pretty far ahead into the progression of the skill tree. See, all this stuff down here, this is for the multiplayer. And you really don't even start unlocking these until you finish the main campaign of the game. So... I'm not worried about these, but we are doing pretty well on the top half of the tree. We possibly need to start looking at like progressing with like unlocking the bottom portion of the tree. So that would mean we would have to unlock some new planes like the SU-33, the MiG-31, the Gripen. Once we start unlocking those, then we should be able to get a bunch of these parts unlocked, which is what I really want to do. So yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right into it. <clears throat> so again, we are going to go with the MiG-29 for this mission because of the LAGMs. They're, they're super very much useful in this type of a mission 
and it's very good and maneuverable especially when it comes down to uh, air to air contacts so I definitely want to make sure we have that let's make sure we got the right parts selected so Queen's custom that's basically the the young lady who said I'm gonna take special care of your plane she has her own special perk part and when you add hers it adds top speed aircraft acceleration overall maneuverability and stability so Queen's Custom is like one of the top uh, parts that you can add to your plane so as you can see I basically disabled all the other uh, ones that have to do with like like this one was a light blisk I turned that off don't need it superior maneuverability I cut these two off and all these down here because that's not necessary uh, armament let's see decrease standard missile reload yep I need that missile power yep I need that too yep load limit decrease special missile reload time yep I need that as well and blast range I don't know if I really need blast range but we'll see I think it's like let's see do I want to go in for lock on speed I'm gonna go with increase missile power yeah I'll go with increase missile power all right let's go convicts stand by at the front three of a kind is the operation name Champ went down crying like a baby. I knew he was all bark and no bite. <laughs> the coward. You don't want to talk, running off with your tail between your legs. I wasn't running away, I was retreating. Well, I can't say I blame you. It was hell out there. Man, I'm not in the mood for this shit today. I'm gonna blow stuff up to let off steam. Target in sight. I see a lot of oil tanks. Boats, all warships. There's plenty of buildings, too. Why are we getting hit after Destroy everything in sight. I appreciate the simplicity of the operation. They don't look like military. You think you look anything like military? Fox 2. Spare the Why didn't that blow up all of them? Crap. Spare 15, Magnum. Trigger, 
There we go. Spare 15, target destroyed. Hey, Trigger. Why do you think this stupid war keeps dragging on? Okay. Okay. It's all because countries exist. Shouting that and throwing a rock? That's what got me in here. Well, you have three meals in a war to get. You should thank our good citizens. Wait a sec, don't go blaming me. 
Ooh. Almost hit the ground. This is just a little bit. This is a little bit bad. Destroy the tankers. There's no way we can chase the damn tankers now. They're coming. You're out of your goddamn mind. A cat doesn't have enough lives to carry out your orders. Do your duty and take out the tankers. Column of smoke. Who did that? Oh crap. Trigger. I like your style. Fly along, Trigger. Stall warning. Yeah, I barely can see that one. You can't run from us. Missile. Keep going. Burn it all. Missile. Have you forgotten what happens to deserters? I'll send you out to dig up landmines with your bare hands. I'm sticking around. Two more from my. It's eight more. How about y'all do that? How about y'all help me out? I can't fight like this. I'm gonna break off. There he goes, running away, and he's who drew the drones here. <laughs> Say what you want. Have fun with your new friends. Oh my goodness, man. Near full band. Dig around. Never turn your back on the enemy. Let me just slide in there. Oh, that actually blew up the drone. Triggers are down at UAV. Dumbass is at it again. Sounds like we're in retreat. Spare 15 locked on. Trigger, he's got a lock. Trigger trash the target. Woo! Okay, there's six more left. I need to find the other six. It's really burning. How about some primo jet fuel? Nah, jet fuel doesn't ignite that easily. That was standard gasoline. How about taking targets down instead of flapping your gums? Missile. Missile. I don't know who's doing a tabloid on me. Missile. On your ass. Missile. Bandit Missile. in my sights. Missile. Where is it? Right, right there. Crap. Missile. Trigger, I'm Missile. I can't see it. Missile. It's in some kind of a canyon. Wow, it's in a canyon. There we go. John. Five more. We can't attack the surface when our lives are on the line. It's four more left. Oh, there they are. They're all popping up on the radar now. So there actually is a map online. Prioritize the tankers. Worry about the UAVs later. That actually you can't stick hurt forever. me, actually. Find those targets. Spare 15, target destroyed. One more truck down. Pop them all. Trigger. I right, need four more. Now. Four more. This trigger bullshit. All aircraft, destroy the tankers. I just leave them to it. We got this. We got this. Oh, oh, Damn, it's, on it's one right below me. No, 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 no. I see it. I see it. Three minutes remaining. Oh, my goodness. Stupid sand, man. Searching on DH-115. There they are. I can't, oh, my goodness. I can't get a good angle. 
because of the stupid. It's near your position. Yeah, I get that. I ain't losing a no drone. Where is it? Okay, now I lost it. And it's behind me. How can we be expected to deal with the surface and the air at the same time? Trigger, hurry up and take care of the enemy. Target is down. Well done. There's two more. That's a lot of fuel up and smoke. And they are all over me, dude. It's possible the group's made its way to the north of the operation area. There we go. Those are the last two. Come on. Time's running out. Find them. I'm trying to stay in the Oh that oh that was stupid. Target on radar. Spotted one. On my way. Where's the target? Those trucks can't be all terrain. They should be close to the roads. Oh there they are. There they are, there they are. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop complaining, I got him. Hostel has a lock. Missile. That's the last one, baby. We're done. I'm out of here. HQ sent a message. That was the last one. All aircraft return to base. Oh my goodness. Bring up all those tankers will starve their drones for a while. I'm still alive. <laughs> Stick with trigger and you'll make it. Work like a charm. If you think that's all you need to survive, you might as well get your last rights now. Exactly, that was all dumb luck. Wait, you were in earshot, Count? Must have been straining to hear from high altitude. Well, it wasn't the cleanest Since run. Nothing in the sky, Count. Well, yeah, it's not like there's anything I can learn from Trigger. It wasn't the cleanest run, but uh, it got done. Thank goodness. Okay. All right. Well, let's see how we did. Uh, hopefully we get enough for some kind of a bonus, because we can definitely use the XP. The mission was a success. There's nothing else I need to say. Dismissed. Oh, he has nothing to say this so time. So it looks like we're getting attention from above. Oh, never mind. If any credit is due, it should come to me. Prisoners deserve nothing. Good old commander. Yeah, I probably should have used GGBs, unguided bombs. I probably would have gotten it, uh, been able to take out more of the tankers. So, because this is more of just an um, annihilation mission, you, you really just want to blow up every tanker as possible the oil tanks and even for you to uh, activate the ace in this mission on like higher difficulties you have to destroy all of the fuel tanks or the oil tanks uh, before I think the 30 second mark or that that timer window goes out because I think it's, you have to hit like 17,000 points uh, at a certain point or the mission would be a fail so you definitely want to use uh, uh, an ammunition that's going to do a lot more damage. Obviously, I didn't pick the right choice. I thought I did. But uh, that's okay. Let's see. What did we get? Actually, we, we did some good damage. I, I'm not going to sit up there and say we didn't get some good damage. I, sh I didn't focus on any of the uh, planes that were shooting missiles at us because they were driving me crazy.
Yeah. All right. So this is where it just turns into a sandstorm battle. You're trying to find the targets. So you get a first time completion bonus. I got 60 KRP. Ooh, only got a one time time bonus. So we got 115 of that reward. That's actually not that bad. Not that bad. But I only got a C rank. So I definitely will be playing this quite a few more times so I can get that uh that S rank. And I know I can do it. I just have to figure out what's the right ammunition that's going to best benefit for me in that situ in this particular mission and I can get it. All right, guys. So Definitely, I hope you guys did enjoy this particular episode of our Let's Play walkthrough of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. If you did enjoy it, go ahead and hit that like button, and I will definitely catch you guys in the next episode. Again, I am Soulful of Soulful Size Gaming. Make sure you guys are following us on Twitter so you know when the next episode does come out, and that's at Soulful Size Gaming. And I will catch you guys later. I'm out of here, guys. Later.